Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Here is the part two that I promised to the cottagecore themed foods video series. The first one, we mainly talked about meal prepping and little things that I made for breakfast and lunch mainly. In this video, we're gonna focus more on dinners, desserts, and well, dinners, baked goods, and beverages. That might seem random, but that's just how it's going. First, let's start off with the baked goods category. And first of that category, let's talk about this um, atrocious, but also cute as hell, little flower cake that I made. What, what, what do we want to call this? A flower petal cake? Uh, I don't know. This should serve as a reminder that uh, I'm not a baker and I have no expertise in baking. I never wanted this channel to be like, I'm an expert telling you how to do things, you know? I hope for it more to be like, you watch me try things and like learn things myself. And then you're hopefully inspired by my learning process and my attempts to make your own attempts you know, sometimes I fail, sometimes I don't know what I'm doing, and that makes it fun, right? So like, I know I've said it before, but I really, I am scared of baking. Um, I think it's fun, but like, I don't do it a lot, okay? So like, I don't know. Like, I've made cakes before, but I feel like mostly just like, you know, the kind of cake where you just like put the cake mix in the p platter and then when it comes out, you put frosting on it. You know, it's not the whole like, let's make one layer of cake, take it out of the mold, let it cool, frost that, make another cake, let that one cool, set that on top, do the, you know, I'm not, I've never done that before. So <laughs> sometimes I have too much confidence. A lot, most of the time I have no confidence at all, but sometimes I have way too much confidence. I don't know where it comes from. And I just think like, okay, like no big deal. Let's just go for it. There's no way this could turn out bad. And also I'm like cottage core. I feel like it should be kind of messy, right? It should be kind of like imperfect because it's like nature, s slow lifestyle, you know, like rustic. That gave me an extra confidence boost also because I was like, I want it to be kind of messy. I didn't anticipate it being this messy, but I was like, you know, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to cover it with flowers anyways. Do I wish looking back that I had been a little bit more patient with waiting for the cake to cool before I frosted it? Mm hmm And also I ran out of powdered sugar when making the frosting, so the frosting was like too runny, but there was no turning back because I couldn't add more powdered sugar. Also, I got these edible flowers from Whole Foods. The only places I've seen edible flowers were at Sprouts and Whole Foods and at Sprouts. I don't really like the ones that they have as much. The Whole Foods ones looked way better. This looks so crazy insane. I like hate it. <laughs> Basically, I just ripped them up so they were like little petals so that I would just have more to use and they would be more like flat on the cake. It looks crazy, but I really like it. I don't know. Like I like it, but I also think it's scary, but I also really think it's cute and amazing. I feel like this is almost more like fairy core, potentially. Um, tell me in the comments what our thoughts are of that, but yeah, and it was really good. The cake recipe was like, okay. It was like good, but it definitely tasted like vegan and somewhat on the like lighter side, a little bit more like bready, but with the really sweet frosting, it like balanced it, balanced it all out. Anyways, next we have luckily a full on success. These were amazing little cupcakes. No, muffins, muffins. Next we are making lemon lavender muffins because I really wanted to do something with lavender. Um, and also lemons just because I love lemons and I had a lot of lemons that were needing to be used Unfortunately, I don't know what happened with the lavender because I, again, I was like, I don't know where to buy lavender like edible Lavender they had lavender also at Whole Foods. So I got some lavender and Most of the recipes that I saw tell you to use the lavender flowers and not the leaves But when I bought the lavender from Whole Foods, I bought it online So I couldn't see what I was ordering like in detail, you know, but when I got it, there was only two tiny little lavender flowers in the container. The rest was just leaves. So I was unsure, but I did find some recipes where they used lavender leaves in the recipe. So I was like, I guess it's fine. Basically for the recipe, you're supposed to blend up lemon rind, what's it called? Lemon, uh, 
grind up the lavender and the lemon zest and then you mix that in with the sugar so you have like lavender lemon sugar to use in the recipe and i was scared to put too much because i didn't want it to taste like candles or something you know like i didn't i don't know i was kind of scared but what i put i could have put more because i think you got a slight lavenderiness a slight like floweriness to it you know but i wished it was like slightly stronger and i didn't want to grind it too fine because i felt like it would be kind of cool again that rustic feel you know nature feel i thought it'd be cool to have like have it to where you can see the little bits of lavender or whatever in the muffin you know anyways i used parchment papers instead of cupcake liners because i thought that would look again ooh, more rustic more cottage core Although I sprayed oil on the pan first so that they would like stick down, you know, but then it was kind of just like they were just oily. So I was kind of like, maybe I shouldn't have even put anything in there. I don't know, but they turned out so nice, so good. And I did a little lemon drizzle for the top. And then you also save some of the lavender lemon sugar to like sprinkle on top. The sugar on top added like a nice little crunch, you know, um, differing texture to it. Mm. Next, we will talk about dinners. And you know I'm not gonna do this video without making at least one soup, okay? I feel like soup is like the most cottagecore meal that is out there except for baked goods. I don't know, like if you if you watch like the cottagecore TikTok compilations on YouTube, there's a lot of baked goods and it makes sense. It's a lot of like pies and like scones and muffins and um, little teas and stuff like that. And I feel like there's not enough like real like meals, you know, not enough like savory foods, but definitely the main thing I feel like is soup. I mean, come on, just like a big pot of soup with lots of veggies in it, maybe some beans, maybe some little pastas, maybe some little grains. Um, I thought about making like a farro soup or something like that. Oh God, that's probably gonna be another word that I said wrong, huh? We'll see. Yeah, so another classic Emily soup. Um, thank you also for the people who've been sending me soup memes. Really appreciate that. I'm glad that my viewers get me. It's nice to feel seen, you know, where my fellow soup heads at. I'm almost a little sad that it's getting hot now so that it's not going to be as much prime time for soup. I'll still make soup, but like it might be rough, you know soup can really heat up a home you know what i mean anyways this is a nice little veggie soup with some peas and also some white beans and also some spinach a lot of herbs you know uh fully loaded with herbs you could say also pasta little cute little pastas from trader joe's it's also a one pot thing that's the best part about soup is that it's all in one pot the only things you have to wash is the pot, the utensils, and the cutting board, and then maybe some other things if you use them. But the essentials, pot, utensils, and cutting board, and then you're eating dishes. Anyways, let's stop talking about that. It was a great soup. And then next, we're going to talk about this mini chicken pot pie that I made that may be one of my favorite things I made from this whole series. Why have I never made a homemade chicken pot pie before? It's literally so easy. Well, it's easy if you have pre-made dough, I guess, pre-made uh, pie shell. Anyways, if you have your own pie shell or if you don't work, if you're not worried about making one, it's so easy. Like the filling was like so easy to make. I don't even understand. And also I really wanna do other like healthier versions of this where it's not like a fake meat and I wanna try with like lentils or something like that as the protein instead. That would also be cheaper, but but basically you're making like a gravy sort of thing. You know, you got your flour, water, broth going on, um, seasonings, onion. The chicken that I bought for this, I just bought it at Sprouts. I'd never tried it before and it was a little pricey, definitely compared to like Morningstar or Gardein but for me, it was worth it. It was high protein and like one of the best chicken substitutes I've had, unless it was just that this pot pie was so good. Um, made me think that, I don't know. And then it's a really good way to use up frozen veggies. I just had this, what is it? Prince Edward mix, which what the hell is that? I don't know. Um, I guess it's just like European veggies. 
a <laughs> classic European veggie, so they're like, who's European? I don't know, but, um, or British. Ha ha ha, that's what I should say. Anyways, there's like some green beans and like wax beans and stuff in there and carrots and stuff. And I realized that my pie crust doesn't look very nice. Don't look at it too deeply. Um, it is the other half of the pre-made puff pastry package that I used for the egg custard tarts, I think, in the avatar video that I made. Which, by the way, I should say, thank you everyone to all the love and support uh, and views that I've gotten on that video. It's almost at 100k now, which is like so crazy. When I first posted that video, it was like one of my least popular videos of the last 10 videos and it was like just riding the low end of how my videos usually do and then it like shot up and now it's like one of my best videos in the last while, definitely of this year. So thank you so much. I really put a lot of time into that video and I was really excited about it. So I'm glad that a lot of other people are excited about it as well. Anyways, back to this video. I had to make like a mini one because I didn't have enough of that dough to make a full on pie, but I also didn't want to like make dough or buy more dough. You know, I was just like, I want to use up exactly how much I have. So I had this cute ramekin thing. Somehow it baked perfectly. I don't know how, cause like, I really was like stressed that it wasn't gonna, you know, the, the crust on the bottom wasn't gonna cook all the way, the top was gonna burn, I was gonna dig in there and it was all raw. That's the power of putting foil on top of it, I guess. This was so good. Dare I say it, this is where white people food peaked. Is this white people food? I If it is, this is where we peaked, guys, because, oh my god, like this is so good. Not an easy one to plate though. Uh, well, I guess if you made like a normal pie and not like a tall, weird, deformed thing like I did, maybe it'd be easier. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so good! Anyways, next is, um, not my favorite thing that I made this week for sure, but it still tasted really good. This is, I wanted to make some sort of like stew. Okay, and I was going for like a beef stew, you know, where you have like carrots and potatoes and stuff in it. And I don't know why. Why did I do this again? I don't know. I was gonna make like a carrot potato beef stew, right? Cause that makes me think of like cottagecore food. But for some reason I decided to bake the potatoes on the side instead. I think because I was like, what do you even eat with stew? You know, like I really couldn't figure that out. I was like, if you have like a beef stew with carrots and, and potatoes in it, what do you eat on the side? Like bread? But I didn't want to do that. So I was like, why don't I just put the potatoes on the side? Looking back, I wish I didn't. Basically, I just put a bunch of veggies in here, similar to how I make soup, I guess, but just less water. <laughs> and I put some cabbage in here because I, I just had some cabbage, but I will not do that again. I don't, what was happening? Maybe it was just not a good day for me. I don't know, but the cabbage really did a number on my digestive system. And I'm now afraid of cabbage for sure. Like that was like the worst. Anyways, we don't need to talk about that. I had a recipe up for a like simple beef stew, you know, and I like kind of lightly followed it. I just took some ideas from it. From the recipe, I saw that they put like broth in there and some like flour to thicken it up and some herbs and some tomato paste. And also there was red wine in the recipe. Um, I did not have red wine, but I did have some Chinese cooking wine and I was like, it's wine, right? I still don't know if that was a mistake or not. So I did the potatoes on the side and I just baked them and I also did some Brussels sprouts as well. And I just seasoned them and put some like parsley on them and stuff. And I'm still doing that thing where you preheat the pan and then put the veggies straight onto the hot pan and then put them in. I will stand by that. It makes it so much easier to roast veggies and get that like nice crisped little brownness to them. It didn't come out how I imagined it to. Like, I feel like it wasn't, I don't know what I was really thinking. I have, when was the last time I had like a beef stew, you know, but it wasn't exactly what I thought it would be, but it was still good. And also I used these seitan cubes, seitan chunks, whatever, which I kind of wish I had something else because they were supposed to be like my quote unquote beef for the recipe, but they didn't really have a beef flavor. 
um, but I can't blame them because it wasn't marketed as like a beef substitute. I found it kind of hard um, to find like a straight up vegan beef. You know, I feel like it's either ground beef or it's burger patties or it's like beef made for Asian dishes, like broccoli beef kind of thing. All I wanted was just like some simple beef chunks, you know? So if you have any recommendations for something better, that would be cool. Anyways, this was good. It just wasn't exactly what I was going for, but that's okay. You know, sometimes that happens and that's not a failure. It's just slightly disappointing, you know? It also looks kind of crazy with the different colored carrots. Lastly, we have my personal favorite category of the video. Is that why I saved it for last? Maybe. First, maybe my favorite things, thing or things that I made during this whole video series, some potted plant uh, drinks. Potted plant, matcha, and coffee drinks. I copied the idea basically from this one Instagram account that I will put on the screen, can't remember the name, but they made some potted plant drinks and I thought they were so cute. I don't know if they called them like cottage core or whatever. I didn't copy them exactly. I just kind of took the inspiration of the potted plant aspect of it. First, I made a matcha drink and I made the matcha a little bit weaker than I wanted to. It didn't come out as green as I meant it to. I think I put too much milk. I also thought it might be nice to have like a little bit more brown in the drink, I guess. So I'd also poured in some coffee concentrate from Trader Joe's on top as well and I kind of like that like vibe and also I like matcha coffee personally so yeah this one turned into like a matcha coffee drink and it's basically just crushed up oreo cookie on top of a drink <gasps> are you looking is anyone looking at this <gasps> oh my god and then you put a little leaf on top and it looks like it's a little potted plant I used some mint leaves, just fresh mint leaves for the top. Uh, I didn't expect to actually make the mint part of the drink. It was just supposed to be like a cute little topping for the aesthetic. But especially in the next drink that I made, it was like perfect. This was the greatest thing. Like I want to make these, well, maybe I shouldn't make them a regular thing because it's literally like having Oreo cookies every day, which is not the best, you know, routine, but it was so good and it made everything like cookies and cream, like cookies and cream matcha, cookies and cream coffee. <laughs> but the, those leaves get lost in those leaves. Yeah. <sighs> What's going on over there? <laughs> The other potted plant style drink that I made was like a chocolate coffee kind of thing. And this is how I make like a chocolate, this is how I make chocolate milk. And it's also how I make like chocolate coffee, mainly just because I'm trying to use up my cocoa powder that is old as hell. Um, I just have some really hot water, just a little bit of really hot water and mix in a bunch of cocoa powder, make sure it's all dissolved really well. And then I put in the ice and milk, which is that the best way to do it? I don't know, but it works for me. And then I also put in some of that coffee concentrate again. Also, the first time I used a bag, which is what I've seen other people do to crush Oreo cookies. And then the second time I made it, I was like, what the heck? I literally have a mortar and pestle. Like what the- Okay, was that fun? It's too much, huh? Yeah, it's really cute. Is it too much? Why? Oh, the mint. It's yeah. a bit much. It's a bit much, huh? Maybe take out the bottom two leaves. The big boys in the neighborhood. It just yeah. falls in. It's cute. Oh, but it's cute. It's, it's cute though. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. I'm a big chocolate mint fan. I know that's controversial to a lot of people, but if you like chocolate mint, you should definitely make something like this. Even if you don't have the Oreo bits, well, you should try it with Oreo bits. It's so fun. Literally, chocolate cookies and cream chocolate mint mint chocolate cookies and cream coffee what the heck dude mint chocolate oh mint chocolate see this is what i hate about those like home cafe videos they never like stir it up afterward they never like stir it or like take a sip they just like make the drink and then end the video it makes me mad huh. like i want to see it like stirred up you know stir it up. but they make it like perfectly stir layered it up, stir and then I want to see it like stirred up. Oh, you want to try it? Mm. <laughs> Fire in the building! 
<laughs> Another thing that I actually bought the flowers, the edible flowers for, was making some beautiful little flower ice cubes. I didn't know what I was gonna put them in, but I just knew that I felt like I had to make flower ice cubes for this cottage core video. And I initially was just gonna make the ice cubes with the whole flowers, like each ice cube was a whole flower, but I was having kind of a hard time shoving the whole flower into the cube in like a nice way. And so I ended up actually ripping them apart again, like on the cake and just having like flower petal ice cubes. And I feel like that worked a lot better. You, you can make more ice cubes out of it and they're able to like fan out a little more, like fill up the ice cube more the nicely. This would be something that would be really fun for like a, you know, I don't know, some sort of event type thing. I've lost all, I don't know what those are anymore, but, um, you know, if you're having the girlies over for lunch or something like that, brunch, I don't know. Ooh, put those in like a mimosa type thing. Well, you might not be able to see it. I don't know. I, I used this like semi-clear soda because I was like, I don't know what to put these in. Like, I didn't want to just put them in like water. The only thing is they're not that great when they melt. So I wouldn't suggest it if you're going to do it outside. <laughs> if you're going to drink the drink outside or have it like an outdoor event, I wouldn't suggest that. But as long as you drink your drink relatively quickly, NBD, you know. Also, uh, something I was really excited about making for this video was this strawberry milk that I saw from this one YouTube channel that I will put on the screen a long time ago and always wanted to make, but I just never did because laziness. But it's so good. It's really easy to make. It's just like, you know, you got to make sure you have ripe strawberries at hand and cut them up. But it's so good. Basically, it's just some cooked strawberries with sugar and then you mix them in with some cut up strawberries and then with some milk in a jar slash pitcher or something like that where you can stir it up or shake it up. Because I used the greatest, in my opinion, plant milk that the, that is out there, um, this became so thick and creamy and amazing. It was kind of more like a smoothie once I had let it sit for a while. I used slightly less sugar than in the recipe because my strawberries were already pretty sweet and I also just wanted to like not use as much sugar. It was still super good. It's so good. Then the next day I made a cute little strawberry matcha drink. Although with how many ice cubes I put in there and how thick the strawberry milk was, I had like kind of a hard time stirring it at first. Once I let it like sit for a second and slightly melt, it was better, but Yes, in my freaking fast food video where I was complaining about having pineapple matcha instead of strawberry matcha, now I feel satisfied, you know? This was so much better than whatever I had that day. Um, and look how cute it is. It's also kind of ugly. Um, if you want to keep it cute, don't stir it all the way. And that's all I have for this video. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. There will definitely be a part three to this video. Um, and it'll be a lot of things that I like screwed up while making this video and then I will make them again Like I will fix them. So anyways look out for that and put on notifications if you really want to be on top of it You want to see like right away? You want to see it right away and like be like you know on you know a true fan <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching Hope you enjoyed hope you have a great day and I'll see you later.